Digging in is the switch hitting outfielder, Tim Wood. There's a sense of anticipation in the ballpark as everyone waits to see if he can inch closer to the consecutive game hitting streak. Swing and a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cape. Rudder takes off. Pitch inside. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. And that's a stolen base, not even close. Rudder on the go again. Pitch outside. Throw save. That's a stolen base. Four. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. And that's in there at the knees. is foul and the pressure is building wood on third Paris at first with no outs hey. goes down looking now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate the 2-1 line drive Judge out on the floor one attacks for third Roll is on the line and he scores Board first, it's one zip. Here's Austin Riley. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those blue hits to get a knock sometimes. Runner on the go. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That one is gone. His 13th home run of the season, it's 3-0. Here is Matt Olson. Two outs. That one Ball a little three. bit high. Three balls and a strike. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. And a foul ball. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Durant makes the catch inning over. Back in Boston. Now it's the second baseman, John Birdie. He's not the power guy, but he can hurt you to all parts of the ballpark. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, after One score ball. runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Ball. And another ball. Two balls, two strikes. Kicks and fires. Wouldn't Three, chase two. that time. Line to left. And that gets down for a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage that count. Exactly. Just a cookie Look, down the middle. Amazing. I mean, those are the ones you dream yeah. about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping oh, you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, Aye. right on top of it. This might be a steal One situation, ball. but that's right. not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. Righty delivers. Aye. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. That and one gone. No left hit at first. Masataka Yoshida will hit next. At the belt and fires. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. And a pitch. Birdie runs. Pitch is low. Safe at second, and that was not close. Not Careful. close with that one. And now it's three and two. The Red Sox trailing by three here in game one of two in the series. 
hit in the air left field Harris has a beat on it and there's two away and here is Devers Singh, you can't ask for anything more this guy checks all the boxes offensively he is the ultimate professional and it doesn't just start at game time it starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game I tell you what his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field that's outside and yeah, that's ball two birdie at second with two down And a pitch. Now one close rule the ball. Three and two now. Ah. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is that. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here is Ozzy Albies up to it. And that's inside, off the inside edge. And a count two and one. The wind of the pitch. And he grounds one to the right side. The flip to the pitcher covering. One up, one down. Here's Orlando Arcia. And the pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Here's Sean Murphy. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Two out spaces empty. And another ball. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just okay. trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Back now at Fenway, the bottom of the inning. Joe no, 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 no. stepping in for Boston. No, no, no. CJ Crone. CJ Crone. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And out number one on the grab. And now the DH in Manuel Valdez. The Braves leading by three. Bottom half of inning number two. There's a swing and a drop. Out of here. He'll touch them all. And they're chipping away. It's 3-1. So one out, nobody on. And next for the Red Sox, Vaughn Grissom. Pulls that one foul. One out, base is empty. And it stays fair. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into no the outfield for the base hit. Tyler. Those always feel great. Oh, Here's dear. Tyler O'Neill. Swing and a foul straight back. Grissom leads off first with one away. Hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Pitch was in hit. and off the plate. It's so hard to do anything with the pitch in that location, but somehow he got the barrel to it and hit it well. Pretty amazing. Here's Reese McGuire. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Fights that one away. Still one and two.
And oh, another ball. Out. Still in the second, already at 44 pitches. So some concern there. On the ground, Olsen. To second, that's He's one. Out. Back to first, the He's play. Out. Nice job getting over, and that ends the inning. the start of the inning and now the big time power threat Tim Wood that one ripped and that is a foul ball been a rough start on the mound for this guy this third inning so important for him to get on track turn the page settle in do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one 2-2 Two -two. And that's a strikeout looking. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. So digging in, Michael Harris. Michael Harris. And another ball. Well struck right field. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. I'm amazed at his ability to pull his hands inside and actually square that baseball off. That Acuna in 2023 with about as impressive a power-speed combination season as we have ever seen. Here's Acuna now. That's down and in. The Braves always liked Acuna, but consider for a second, he was signed for $100,000 in 2014 out of Venezuela. So they liked him, but he wasn't some monster prospect. He ended up growing into one of the top young prospects in all of baseball. That's ball three. That one misses. And now three and one. Right through there for a strike. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Yoshida sizing this one up. And there are two down. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now. It doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Man on second, two down. Judge comes up empty there. One ball, two straight. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. John Birdie at the plate. Chris, his skill set straight out of the mid 80s. Good contact, not much power, and he can run. He always uses the wheels to his advantage. His biggest challenge in this day and age is to not get caught up in trying to hit home runs because so many people are. Multi hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something. Birdie runs. It's a pitch out. Throw to second, tag, out at second. Just missed. One down, base is empty. Takes the outside corner, and it's three and two. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Gathers and throws to first. Awesome play there. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. The Braves leading by two here in the last half of the third. And one and two. One ball, two straight. Hard hit left side. Arcia whips it to first. And that is the inning.
New inning getting started. Here's the third baseman, Austin Riley. A wind in the pitch. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Oh, he just threw that fastball by him. Elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. And the pitch. Got it by him for the K. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. So, Boog, you went to college in this town. What was it like for you being a college student and having the opportunity to bounce over here to Fenway Park and see some games? Yeah, in fact, 1990, a couple of college classmates and I, we were in college. We bought standing room tickets, and then this one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Back gone. His 21st of the year, it's 4-1. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. And here it comes. And that one's a little bit low. Two and one. What about the fans at Fenway? Would they let you have it from time to time? They're definitely intelligent baseball fans, which is awesome. They're not waiting for something to happen. They can Ball, smell a big inning or anticipate a situation setting itself up. This ball's chopped to the ground. Fires over to Crone. And Albies is retired. Now it's the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. Two outs. Lifted in the air, right center field. Brings it in, and that is that. We're back here Leading at Fenway off. Park. Now Red it's Devers Rafa. at the plate. The third baseman. Raphael. Devers. Devers. Left hand batter waits. Two, two, the count. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. And he hits a ground ball right side, and it finds its way through for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, his hot hitting continues. He's been getting great results lately. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Devers aboard here at first with nobody out. And a big swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. And another ball. Play ball to second. Flips for one. Two gone as they hit into their second double play in the first four innings. Ed Manuel Valdez up next for the Red Sox. Right through there for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Ground ball, Olsen. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Lucas Giolito. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of them right here if they can get it. So here's Murphy he's now. The catcher, Sean, Sean Murphy. Murphy. Kicks and deals. Fouls it off, still one and two. The pitch. Struck out towards right center. Durant going back. Tattooed and gone. 
He made him pay for that one. It's 5 1. So the batting order turns over. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Tim Wood. Next Aye. offering is in for a strike. That's and there's a the ball. ball. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. That's to third. That's a base hit. Another multi-hit game now for him. Out. He's been really Go hot lately. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. And now Michael Harris. Rudder at first with no outs here. Runner takes off. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Great jump. And that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. Righty to the plate. Foul ball. Another 2 2 upcoming. Right handed reliever to third makes the sliding stop fires to first and very nicely done for the out talk about being able to dial up the velocity that first baseman over there might need a little pad inside that first baseman's mitt now this one's crushed down the line Bucking. Right-hander kicks, deals. Headed down the line. O'Neal drifts towards it, and that oh, is God. a foul ball. Here comes a pitch. And oh, another dude. ball. One run across in the frame so far, and we're at the top of the fifth. And right back to the mound. Oh. In plenty of time to first. And Acuna retire. Here is Aaron Judge. And the righty deals. Well, Just that. missed. It's a good take. Smoked on the ground a second. Throws to oh. first. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. Back inside Fenway Park. There's the shortstop at the play. Paul Grissom. Liner to second and picked on the hop. Albies over to first in time. And the leadoff hitter retired in the pit. Right and now the right fielder, Tyler, Tyler. O'Neill. Oh, so a foul ball makes it one and two. Hey. Got him. Outside pitch got the better of him that time. Two outs, base is empty. Reese McGuire up three, next three. for the Red Sox. McGuire. Two down, nobody on. And down on strikes he goes. Three up, three down, inning over. Back here in Boston, down the third baseman, Austin Riley. Pitch. Oh, that's low. Cool. 
Way hey. out front for strike two. Just Hold a really down. nice slider Three, down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Lays out, but he can't squeeze no, it. Safe. And he beats it. He's safe. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. One ball. And now Two Matt strikes. Olsen up to hit. Right on at first. Nobody out. The one two. That two one ball, missed. Two strike. Wouldn't chase that two. time. Recognize that change up right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Outside, and that is ball four. Got the start to this inning he was hoping for on the mound. Now he's going to have to really dial it up against the bottom part of this lineup to get out of this jam. The Braves trying to break this one open. And we're in the top half of the sixth. The 1 1 is cut on and missed to the pitch upstairs. Good eye in that spot. The 2-2 two -two now. Line drive. Come on. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Two on, one out. On a line, base hit. Here comes Riley. Fires it to the plate, but it's offline. It's 6-1. Comes through with the RBI. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat. Just kind of muscled it out there. And you know, on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher, but you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes. And now it's going to be Sean Murphy. to the top of the lineup Tim Wood next up for the Braves and he deals missed with a changeup and it's two and one tough spot right here a couple runners on two ball count you can't nibble but you have to execute and finish your pitch if you leave something out over the plate it's going to bring in some runs Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. A gigantic blast. His 29th of the season, it's 9-1. Pitching change here, Josh Winkowski. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but... He's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Base is empty with two away. Stepping in, Michael Harris. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance right. that time. Plenty of offense to this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game looking at the pitching matchup where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this. Um, but yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. Right down on strikes. That'll end the inning after a lot of scoring. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Dylan Lee. Well, he's been hit pretty hard at times this season, as you see with the big ERA. So this is an important outing for him to get on the right track.
So the lineup Leading flips on. over, Four and here right is now. John Birdie. The second, the second baseman. baseman. John Birdie. Birdie. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Now batting Jaron Duran. Feels like it's less common today that you see a guy like this. The speed component, the contact component, but lack of power. He just has to understand that his skill set is unique and he's very valuable for any ball club. If he does that, he'll play a long time in this league. Now towards left center. Harris makes the grab. And there are two outs. No two left outs, left bases left empty. Left. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. Yoshida. One one now. That one back up the middle and it gets through. And that extends the inning. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. He screwed up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Man aboard, and here is Devers. Next offering in there for a strike. One ball. It's a ball two and two strikes. Two outs. Ball. Way to lay off that fastball <laughs> up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. That misses, and that's ball three. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Left hand hitter waits. And Devers hits that one. And that'll do it. Back here at Fenway Park, top of inning number seven. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. The 1 1. Scorch to center. No doubt about it. That is long gone. A massive home run. Home run number 20 on the year. And they boost their lead. It's 10-1. Here comes Aaron Judge. And Judge spoils that one. Nobody on, nobody out. Here in the top half of inning number seven. Gets a piece and stays alive. And the right hander deals. Three. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Austin Riley getting ready to hit. Bases empty one away here in game one of two in the series. So a foul ball makes it one and two. <laughs> Swings and misses. Two gone now. Matt Olson up to the, the play. The first base. Matt. Matt. Olsen. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball. One and two here. Ground ball right side. And that one handled. Fires over to oh. first. And that is the inning.
back in Boston ready to go for the last half of the inning and here is CJ Crone. Just missed. Three balls, one strike. The pitch. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That one's back. And he makes the catch on the track. Just missed a homer that time. Here now the Red Sox DH. Ed Manuel Valdez. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. One down, base is empty. Ball and right another now. ball. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Kicks and fires. Inside almost got him. These first two hitters really making him work out there. Already 14 pitches this inning. Outside and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Now got it. One down. Long Grissom digs in now. And a 1 1. That's a little bit low. Valdez leads off first with one away. Hard hit down the line and left. And it goes just foul. Pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Now batting. And at first, no right Tyler O'Neill up next for the Red Sox. Oh, the Braves yeah. up big in this one. Here, the bottom of the seventh. Swing and a miss. One and two. On the mound, you take a note. You see the hitter's willingness to chase that pitch upstairs. Get deeper in the count. Try to climb the ladder. And he can't hang on no, to first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. And stepping now in for Boston, uh, Reese McGuire. McGuire. That's out to center field. Wood makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Here at Fenway, we go to the eighth. Now the in for the Braves, Ozzy Albies. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss there. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Slides for the stop. Gathers and throws. And that's a great play for the out. So up next, Orlando Arcia. Orlando Arcia. Close one doesn't get the call. All three. And that one fouled off. Outside, and that is ball four. 
runner on at first with one gone. And now the catcher comes up to him. Sean Murphy. And nope. another ball. Right, ball two. Arcia, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Swing and a miss struck him out. Now the leadoff spot for the Braves, Tim Wood. Singy, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum oh, card no. to see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on oh, the inside that's pitch. That's right. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. And here it comes. On the ground, right side. They take the first ah. out, and that is the third out of the inning. Back now, now new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the no, bottom no, of the eighth, it. Tyler Matson. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Now here's the Red Sox Lead leadoff hitter, the John Red Birdie. Sox. The second baseman, John Birdie. Misses well, inside. It's two and two. Eight. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Now it's going to be Jaron Duran. The Red Sox with a lot of ground to make up here at the bottom half of the eighth inning. That's no. inside. inside. Duran checks his swing. Appeal down to third. And he couldn't hold back. He's rung up on strikes. So stepping in for Boston, Masataka Yoshida. The 1 1. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. One ball, two strikes. On the ground to third. Into the outfield. Base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Up next to the Red Sox. Raphael Devers up to him. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. One ball. Two strikes. And now the lefty swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now the number two hitter, Michael Harris. Michael Harris. On the ground to third. Could be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. In safely with a double. His second of the day. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. And a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Man at second. Swings and misses. Struck him out. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge. And Judge takes a strike.
Ripped to short. Fires over He's to Crone. Judge out on the play. Austin Riley next up for the Braves. Now back at the third base. Austin Riley. Up the middle. Oh, look at the stop from his knees. The throw. Got him. A beautiful play to end the inning. First baseman, C.J. Crone. The first baseman, C.J. Crone. Just off the inside edge. Strike two. This is just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Three two on the way. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Now about He's two outs the away. And Manuel Valdez. The next to hit. Base is empty one away. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Swing and a miss as he was late. It might be One time ball. to choke up Two a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. The 1-2. Nope. And another That's ball. Clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. In there. That's a double. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that number. And that's a fair ball. Around third. Here's the throw to the plate. The tag, but he's safe. Well done, drives in the run. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And now no, Tyler O'Neill. Next ball. one misses, and that's ball three. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. Swing and a ball popped up. Olsen settles under it. Pulls it in for the out. And there's two down. Last out for the, the Red Sox in three. this one. Here's the three. catcher, Reese McGuire. McGuire. One run across in the frame so far here in the last half of inning number nine. Matzik is just one strike away. Down the left field line, base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. So digging in, John Purdy. At the belt and fires. They're down to their final strike. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Laboring here, about to throw his 30th pitch of the inning. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. 
Well, there was no letdown after they got to 10 wins. Came out today, pushed it to 11. The opposition looks disgusted from the other side of the field. They respect the talent that's over there, but they also think that this is a lucky team. Well, that's the thing about baseball. You've got to be good, and you've got to be lucky. Right now, they're clicking on all cylinders, and they're just going to ride it as long as it'll last. 10-2 the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. The final line score for our ball game tonight. For the victorious Atlanta Braves, 10 runs on 11 hits. No errors, they left four runners on base.